today I got new Arduino program it's analog voltage or analog voltmeter so it's currently reading the analog voltage that is being fed into my Arduino Pro Mini and my Pro Mini is connected to my PC through CP2102 USB to serial converter and I have used Nokia 5110 display and uh, that's pretty much it all the connections of this uh, sketch are uh, given in this code I have written this code and I have I am giving this code in the description below so you can download it and make for your own so basically in this code I have defined all the matrix first I have defined the pins of the LCD then uh, I have defined all the matrix basically it's the fonts uh, like the characters and numbers then uh, I have given some pin modes outputs and input so uh, in my case I have defined A2 as input so I am um, giving input to A2 and all the output pins are connected to my display Nokia 5110 and in this code this bit is particularly uh, you can set the contrast of the display now the BF is the highest contrast I have found so you can also experiment it and uh, the bias mode is uh, uh, also can be experimented but I have found 10 pretty good so that's up to you then it's all about the driving the display then this string LED string voltage so as you can see I have in inserted voltage so you can use anything uh, inside the code and you will see that this text will appear here and that's it also the next string or the next loop is a voltage so I am reading analog voltage so A2 is my input and I am scaling it to 5 volts so it will give me uh, readings in 0 to 5 volt so that's pretty much about the code now let's see in working ok guys so uh, now I will show you how to measure uh, voltage with this multimeter so connect one pin to analog 2 as you have mentioned in the code then connect another pin to ground and you will get these two terminals now analog 2 terminal is the positive terminal of your multimeter so I will be connecting this battery to positive as you can see and then another ground to negative and you can see it is reading 1.34 volts that is pretty much accurate and quite stable so now I will show you this bigger battery this is I think 4.2 volts but uh, now it is discharged so let us see so it is 3.4 volts as you can see here the display update rate is uh, very fast so you can change this update rate uh, in the in the code now I will show you how to change it ok so with the 10 millisecond delay you can see the update rate of this display is quite fast that uh, even you can 
cannot take the proper readings on this place here so now I will change this uh, change this delay in 190 lines to 100 and you can experiment with your own and it says uh, done uploading okay so it is uploaded and as you can see now I'm getting somewhat measurable readings measurable speeds of uh, reading okay guys so to change the brightness of the display sorry the uh, contrast of the display go to the 142 line you will find 0 into BF so here is this 0 into BF so I found this BF is a uh, very dark and if you insert BL I, I will experiment you, if you insert the BL and uh, upload upload it compile as you can see here is the result it will take some time to upload ok so it is uploaded and it is starting I think we have done something wrong so again back to BF and see whether it works or not okay so with BF I am getting this contrast and I am going to change it with B1 so these these things are basically the colors color shades so that might be different depending as you can see now I am getting very low kind of contrast now I will show you if what is the BF brightness so here is I have uploaded okay, so it will now reset and here is the full contrast it looks pretty good with uh, this setting okay now I have found a very another interesting thing that the the, uh, the code right here on the line number on the line number 144 so right here LCD write C LCD bias mode so it ranges from 0 to 13 so previously this value was 10 and I have just changed this value to 0 and the display refresh rate is now the very very fast so my camera is not even capturing my camera is not even capturing but it looks very so good as you can see the readings are not uh, quite stable here it is getting somewhat float voltages on it now as I have not connected anything so you can use pull down register to get proper readings so I am going to connect pull down resistance between analog 2 and ground so there is the result as you can see now I am getting zero voltage at since I have not connected anything now I am going to connect the battery as you can see I am getting 1.34 volt so this multimeter is uh, only works for 0 to 5 volts if you want to make it uh, work for high voltage then you have to use optocoupler or 
any kind of isolating stage uh, just like used in CRO probes to get only the signal and accordingly you have to change the code right here cause in this line number 191 as you can see I have mentioned thus multiplier 5.0 so what it will says that maximum voltage is 5 volts and here is the raw number count that doesn't change and here is my pin input so if you are using maybe 12 volts then you have to change this number to 12.0 and that's about the code and in a hardware you have to develop and voltage divider network between analog to and ground so you will not damage your Arduino and you cannot use 230 volts or 120 volts AC with this thing to use this you have to isolate and some some kind lower down the voltage and that's pretty much it